The Missing Mitten Mystery Story and Pictures by Stephen Kellogg Oscar, I lost my other mitten. That makes five mittens this winter. I'm in big trouble. Let's search every place we played today. We'll start at the hill where we rode on Ralph's sled. Here's Ralph's boot, but there's no mitten. I'll look around the castles we built with Ralph and Herbie and Ruth. That was fun. Here's Ralph's other boot and Ruth's sock and Herbie's sweater. But no mitten. Oscar! You found it! Wow! A flying mitten! Oh, it's only a little bird. I wonder if he stole my mitten to make a snuggly nest. No, he's too small to carry off a mitten. But an eagle could do it. Maybe an eagle took my mitten to keep his baby's head warm. Do you think my mitten got tired of being a mitten? Maybe it just slipped off my hand and hopped away. There are no mitten tracks, but here are some mouse tracks heading toward the wood pile. Could that mouse be using my mitten for a sleeping bag? Or maybe he'll wear it next Halloween and be a mitten mummy. Let's go see if I dropped my mitten while we were making the snowman to surprise Miss Seltzer. I haven't seen your mitten, Annie. But why don't you look in the garden where you were making snow angels? Finding missing mittens is hard work. It would be easier to grow new ones. Let's try planting the other mitten right here in the garden. Next spring, when the snow melts, a little mitten tree might sprout. Miss Seltzer and I would take good care of it all summer long. In the fall, we'd pick the ripe mittens. Then I'd give mittens on Christmas. and mittens on birthdays, and mittens on Valentine's Day. Oscar, it's getting dark and it's starting to rain. We'll never find that mitten. Come inside, Annie. I made some hot chocolate for us, and I've got a biscuit for Oscar. Look, the rain is melting the snowman. But what's that spot on his chest? Gracious, your snowman has a heart. My mitten is the heart of the snowman.